For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the value of n moment, wall shear, and mid span deflection using the method of three moment equation. Step number one draw the possible shape of the elastic curve of the beam. Step number two establish points on each successive support and at the point on the beam where deflection is required. Kapag meron tayong fixed ended or built in support, Magdodrawing tayo ng isang fictitious or imaginary beam adjacent or inside the peak support. But the moment at the outer end of this imaginary beam is equal to zero. Also, the length of this imaginary beam is equal to zero. Idinote natin yung outer end ng imaginary beam as point 1, point A as point 2, yung mid span ng beam as point 3, maglalagay tayo ng point dyan dahil kukuha tayo ng deflection sa mid span, Yung point B as point 4, and yung outer end ng imaginary beam sa peaks in support sa point B as point 5. Take note that M1 is equal to 0, and M5 is equal to 0. Step number 3, apply 3 moment equation for each 3 successive points. Unahin natin itake yung segment 1, 2, 4. Kaya hindi natin agad itinake yung segment 1, 2, 3 dahil madaming papasok na unknown. Katulad ng moment sa point 2, moment sa point 3, at deflection sa point 3. By writing the moment equation for segment 1 to 4, and denoting L1 as the distance from point 1 to point 2, and L2 is the distance from point 2 to point 4. The moment equation will be now M1 L1 plus 2 M1 L1 plus L2 plus M4 L2 plus 6 A bar A over L1 plus 6a bar b over l2 is equal to 6ei multiplied by h1 over l1 plus h4 over l2. Step number 4. Draw a horizontal line that will pass through the tangent line on the elastic curve at middle point, and set h for each point at both ends of the three successive points. Kapag nagdrawing tayo ng horizontal line sa point 2, dahil iyon yung middle point ng segment 1, 2, 4, Yung distance na elastic curve sa point 1 at ng horizontal line na drenowing sa point 2 ay equal sa 0. Therefore, the value of H1 is equal to 0. Same din yun sa point 4. Therefore, H4 is equal to 0. Or simply to say, na kapag yung tatlong point na in natin sa 3-moment equation ay nasa support, yung term na to ay mag equate na sa 0. Kaya hindi na natin siya kailangang isulat ng paulit-ulit Kung alam natin na yung tatlong point na inestablish natin ay nasa support. By substituting the values na meron tayo dito sa ating 3 moment equation, M1 is equal to 0, therefore this term is equal to 0. M2 is unknown. L1 is 0 and L2 is equal to L. M4 is also unknown. L2 is equal to L. Yung 6A bar A over L1 is for segment 1 to 2. And yung 6A bar B over L2 is per segment 2 to 4. Since walang load yung imaginary beam at nakover niya yung segment 1 to, therefore the value of 6A bar A over L1 is equal to 0. Ang kailangan na lang nating hanapin ngayon is yung value ng 6A bar B over L2. Para makuha yung value ng 6A bar B over L2 for segment 2 to 4, ito yung applicable formula na gagamitin natin. Since general formula ito, this time yung value ng L na ito ay equal sa L1 at yung value ng L na ito ay equal naman sa L2. Base sa load ng beam, yung magiging value ng C ay equal to 0 at yung magiging value ng D naman ay equal sa L over 2. Solving for the value of 6A bar B over L2 that was equal to W over 4L2, the value of L2 is equal to L. Multiplied by d squared, d is equal to l over 2. Multiplied by 2l squared, minus d squared. Yung term na to ay magiging 0 dahil yung value ng c ay equal to 0. And the value of 6a bar b over l2 is equal to 7wl cubed over 64. I-denote natin yung equation na to as equation 1. Next naman, ang i-take natin na segment is segment 2 for 5. 
by writing the moment equation for segment 2, 4, 5, L2 is the distance between segment 2 to 4, and L3 is the distance between segment 4 to 5. In-equate ko na kaagad yung equation sa 0, dahil katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag yung tatlong point na in natin sa 3-moment equation ay nasa support, mag equate din siya sa 0. Yung 6a bar a over L2 is for segment 2 to 4, and yung 6a bar b over L3 is for segment 4 to 5. Dahil imaginary beam lang yung segment 4 to 5, therefore, this term 6a bar b over L3 is equal to 0. I-substitute lang natin lahat ng term na meron tayo. M2 is unknown. L2 is equal to L. Plus 2M4. L2 is equal to L. And L3 is equal to 0. M5 is equal to 0. Therefore, this term is equal to 0. Ang kailangan na lang natin ngayon is yung value ng 6A bar A over L2. This time, ang kailangan naman natin is yung value ng 6A bar A over L2 for segment 2 to 4. Yung magiging value ng A ay equal sa L over 2 at yung magiging value naman ng B ay equal sa L. Solving for the value of 6A bar A over L2 that was equal to W over 4 L2 L2 is equal to L multiplied by B B is equal to L squared times 2L squared minus B that was L squared. Minus A, that was L over 2, squared, multiplied by 2L squared, minus A, that was L over 2, squared. By simplifying, this term is equal to 9WL cubed over 64. I-denote natin yung equation na to as equation 2. By equating equation 1 and equation 2, isubtract ko lang yung equation 2 sa equation 1 at magmultiply ako ng 2 para ma-cancel out yung term na to sa equation. M4L minus 4M4L is equal to negative 3M4L. 7WL cube over 64 minus 2 times 9WL cube over 64 is equal to negative 11WL cube over 64 is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of M4 is equal to negative 11WL squared over 192. Using equation 1 or equation 2, by substituting the value of M4, makukuha na natin yung value ng M2. M2L plus 2M4, the value of M4 is equal to negative 11WL squared over 192 times L plus 9WL cube over 64 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of M2 that was equal to negative 5WL squared over 192. To solve for the value of shear at point 2 and point 4, magtake lang tayo ng summation ng lahat ng moment sa point 4 is equal to 0 at take natin lahat ng clockwise rotation as positive. Starting with shear 2, moment arm nyan is L, plus M2, kaso yung value ng M2 is equal to negative 5WL squared over 192. Next is yung uniformly distributed load na may length na L over 2. Magkikreate yan ng counterclockwise rotation sa point 4, kaya minus W times L over 2. Yan pa lang yung load. At ang moment arm niyan ay L over 4. Minus M4 kasi pa-counterclockwise yung M4. And the value of M4 is equal to negative 11 WL squared over 192. Is equal to 0. Solving for the value of shear 2, the value of shear 2 is equal to 3 WL over 32. By applying the summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, shear 2 plus shear 4 minus W times L over 2 is equal to 0. Shear 2 is equal to 3WL over 32 plus shear 4 minus WL over 2 is equal to 0. 
And the value of shear pore is equal to 13 WL over 32. Para makuha yung value ng midspan deflection, kailangan natin ng moment sa point 3. Ikat natin yung beam sa point 3 at itake yung left segment ng beam para limitaw yung internal moment sa point 3. By taking the summation of all moment at point 3 is equal to 0, by taking all clockwise rotation as positive, i-moment natin muna yung shear 2, ang value ng shear 2 is equal to 3WL over 32, at ang moment arm nyan ay L over 2 hanggang sa point 3, plus yung M2, ang value ng M2 ay negative 5WL squared over 192, minus M3, Kasi pa-counterclockwise and that was equal to 0. Solving for the value of M3 that was equal to WL squared over 48. Para makuha yung value ng deflection sa point 3, pwede natin itake yung segment 1, 2, 3 o kaya naman yung segment 2, 3, 4 or yung segment 3, 4, 5. Pero para mas mapabilis, itake na lang natin yung segment 1, 2, 3. By taking segment 1, 2, 3, Ito ngayon yung ating 3 moment equation. Yung L1 is the length from point 1 to point 2 and yung L2 is the length from point 2 to point 3 which is equal to L over 2. Magdrawing tayo ng horizontal line sa middle point na inestablish natin. Yung value ng H1 ay equal sa 0 at yung value ng H3 is measured on the elastic curve under point 3 hanggang sa horizontal line na drawing natin sa middle point. And the value of H3 is equal to the deflection at point 3. M1 is equal to 0. 2M2. M2 is negative 5WL squared over 192. L1 is 0. And L2 is equal to L over 2. Plus M3. WL squared over 48. Times L2 which is L over 2. Yung 6A bar A over L1 is per segment 1 to 2. And yung 6A bar B over L2 is per segment 2 to 3. Dahil imaginary beam lang yung segment 1 to 2 at wala siyang load, therefore this value is equal to 0. And yung segment 2 to 3, nagkataon na wala din siyang load, kaya yung value na to ay equal din sa 0. Yung H1 over L1 natin ay equal din sa 0. Therefore this is equal to 6EI. Deflection at point 3 over L2 which is equal to L over 2. By simplifying, this will be negative 5WL cube over 192 plus WL cube over 96 is equal to 12EI deflection at point 3 over L. Therefore, the value of deflection at point 3 is equal to negative WL to the 4th over 768 EI. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng negative sign na nakuha natin sa value ng deflection? Ang ibig sabihin lang nun is yung H3 is below dun sa horizontal line na dinawing natin sa middle point. Kasi kapag positive yung value na nakuha natin, ibig sabihin naman nun is yung value ng H is above dun sa horizontal line na dinawing natin sa middle point. Or we can write that the value of deflection at point 3 is equal to WL to the 4th over 768EI downward.